I'm Alazne from a village in Brazil. Please like and subscribe. My name means miracle, and that's because mom was totally not expecting to have me. I came into the world 10 years after my older sister Mira, and both she and my mom adored me. Since my dad left, I was born. I love you too, Julius. I felt amazing to be with Julius as his girlfriend. We graduated high school and had the best summer together. And then one day, Julius and I wanted me to meet his parents. I don't want to be without you anymore. Autograph, please. I looked up into those eyes, one green and one blue. It was Julius. I stared at him in shock, and then I felt a wave of rage. Without a word, I picked up my bag and left the event from the back exit. But he followed me. Allie, wait, please, just listen to me. How dare you show up just like that? You have no right to speak to me, and I don't want you anywhere near me. Leave me alone, Julius, or I will scream for help. But he blocked my way and took something out of his coat pocket, which he shoved into my hands. These are all my letters, Allie. I wrote to you, just like I promised. You just never got them. I stared at the letters and then started to cry. Julius led me to a bench, and as we sat down, he explained everything. I was devastated when you never replied. I thought you'd decided to forget me and move on. And then my mom told me you'd gotten married and left the village, and I gave up completely. But a few months ago, I finally came back home because my dad died. And Allie, I found all my letters in his closet. Mom confessed that dad had bribed and threatened the village mailman to make sure my letters never reached you. I couldn't believe that we'd gone through years of heartbreak and anger because of his evil parents. And I had been right to believe in him. I missed you more than I could ever say. I know exactly how that feels, Ellie. And with that, he kissed me, and we held each other close for the longest time. 
We got married soon after, and it was the happiest day. Life with Julius was amazing, and I was so excited to have kids soon. But one evening, he came home with a really serious face. Allie, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. I, I can't have kids. The doctors told me a while back. I just didn't know how to tell you. I felt my world crashing down. You knew before we got married? How could you keep something like that from me? Did you just come back into my life to hurt me? Before he could even say anything, I left the house in tears and went straight to Mira. I told him not to contact me for a few days as I thought things through. I'm not angry because he has a problem. I'm angry because he kept it from me. I don't know if I can forgive him. Of course you can, and you will. It's Julius. After everything you've been through, you're finally together, and I guess he was just afraid to lose you. You can make this work, Allie. She was right, as usual. I went back home to find Julius standing on the balcony, and I took his hand. Julius, we'll adopt kids, as many as we want. As long as we're together, I don't care about anything else. I love you. Oh, Allie, I love you too.